Welcome back to the Crypto Picture channel where I help you see crypto through a clear lens. Today we're going to be doing a quick market update, taking a quick look at Bitcoin dominance, uh, the BTC price, and a couple of the altcoins that we accumulated yesterday to see what's going on. Um, we also had a pretty good day with Galaxy today, uh, two days in a row with 20 plus percent in the traditional stock market. Uh, that's been an awesome performer and uh, you know I told a lot of uh, the guys in my previously a Telegram group and now a Discord group uh, to get into that you know around four bucks, six bucks, eight bucks and now we're sitting at uh, I believe around twenty six, twenty seven dollars so uh, it's been a really good trade as well uh, but jumping in here to the Bitcoin price uh, looks like we're range bound uh, if we can actually, uh, you know, kind of fit within this channel and just not really have an up or down trend, this could be really good for all coins. We'll have to see what progresses, but, um, you know, really what I'm looking for here is either a sideway consolidation within this channel, this these two orange lines here, possibly down to this support zone. Or we're going to go up and we're going to break this two-year parabolic trend and uh, make a macro top here or a mid-macro top, right? So uh, I did go into the, um, the chart saying that we could be kind of seeing possibly a 2013-like uh, structure playing out, which has two macro tops, which uh, if we look at the BLX chart, uh, this was also quickly going over the two-year multiplier. So we saw significant gains here across the board as well. And, uh, you know, um, or we could be putting in this one top scenario. But with everything going on in the world and, uh, you know, America just continuing to print dollars, you would think that the Dixie is going to start correcting at some point which would be bullish for all assets not just crypto so we'll have to see how that progresses bitcoin dominance really still stuck in this range just a lot of indecision here i would say you know there's a real 50 50 tug of war here uh with you know whether people want to invest in bitcoin or altcoins I'm honestly still leaning towards all coins because just where we are in the current macro cycle, let's say we weren't even in a macro top. I mean, Bitcoin has been running for quite some time now and has outperformed the majority of the market. So I think it is time to at least have a little bit of a cool down for these all coins because they're really undervalued versus Bitcoin here. And I do believe that a lot of uh, value investors will start stepping in here to buy up some of these coins that have had significant uh, corrections versus Bitcoin, but still have a nice market structure with higher lows and overall higher highs apart from the parabolic uptrend, right? Like if we were to just cut this out completely and just say that this was our normal trend right or even something like this like this was a continuation in our trend and we just basically blew past it due to a parabolic uptrend and then we came back down to the median price level or the fair price value and we're just continuing onwards and upwards here and then we'll probably see another parabolic spike and then come back into the channel at least for the remainder of this bull market after the bull market is done uh, these altcoins will either die off or they will come back with a vengeance, something like Cardano. Um, you know, Ethereum has come back against Bitcoin, but it's still it's still really lagging, right? Uh, I mean, we can see that in the Ethereum chart versus Bitcoin. Um, it's obviously still gone up significantly versus um, versus dollars. And it did outperform Bitcoin last year. But uh, yeah, I mean, we are putting in higher lows here. But if you compare it from its high back in 20, 
uh, 17, right? We are, um, you know, if we're measuring that to the upside, I mean, we're still 408% away from our, you know, previous high that we put in versus Bitcoin. So we are still really undervalued valued here relative to the Bitcoin price. Now the question is, is that true, right? So a lot of people are expecting Ethereum to come back to its previous high and possibly even break it. Now I always do believe that with dollars, especially if it's a project like Ethereum that does have value and people are using it. But you know, to say that it has to go back to its value versus Bitcoin. I'm not necessarily of the belief that that has to happen. I mean, I hope it happens because I'm holding a significant amount of Ethereum, but there's no guarantees here that it will return to its true value or its its high valuation that it had in 2017 versus Bitcoin. But if we do go on a parabolic run here, it is possible for us to come and possibly uh, create a double top my targets are, you know, at least even if this was to continue in a, you know, macro downtrend versus Bitcoin, but still in an uptrend versus dollars, um, I still project that we'll get at least somewhere kind of in this area at least, right? And I know it's a big range, but I, I think this is like the minimum that we're going to kind of see for Ethereum is for us to come back somewhere between the 0 0.04 level and the 0 0.07 level, let's call it, in our Bitcoin comparative. This would be a really low end target. I am leaning more towards uh, coming up and retesting uh, the top of these highs. Uh, if that does happen, I mean, we could continue going on and create new highs versus Bitcoin, but it doesn't necessarily have to happen, okay? And as you can see, I'm charting everything in Bitcoin now. Um, you know, previously I was showing you a lot of dollar charts, but with Bitcoin ranging or possibly going parabolic here, I want to ensure that I'm in coins that are performing against Bitcoin and are outperforming Bitcoin or have significant higher highs and higher lows versus Bitcoin. Because if Bitcoin does go parabolic, these are the coins that will rally the strongest. Okay, so looking at AVAX, really strong chart here. Uh, you know, it, it does look really good given that we can continue to hold this green uh, support zone. I think that uh, AVAX will continue to perform well. Uh, we are going up in USD value. I think we entered around somewhere around like 30 bucks or so. Uh, yesterday so yeah we've seen about a 10% or so increase here a little bit more um, so that's been relatively good EGLD really looks like it's forming a W structure here it'd be really interesting to see if this one continues to rally because this has honestly been one of the strongest um, coins uh, versus Bitcoin after you know obviously it came out in a really horrible time it came out in 2019 right in the thick of the bear market but it didn't really go down as much as other coins i mean it's still significant obviously uh but if you compare it to a lot of other coins a lot of coins went down like 99 percent so this is still relatively good we came up we created a high a higher low a new higher high and um, the question is is are we going to put in another one of these types of corrections I mean, it is possible, but I don't really necessarily believe that because I think that we've seen the most parabolic gains out of Bitcoin versus altcoins. And this was during this time, right? From roughly actually about August to uh, you could call it December, right? That's when we started seeing the altcoins kind of recover back against Bitcoin. So I think that uh, I, I don't I don't really plan to see this until uh, the bear market starts, to be honest. And then we'll start seeing some of these altcoins uh, decrease in value versus Bitcoin up to, you know, 70, 80, 90 percent, possibly more. Uh, but overall, yeah, EGLD is still looking good here. I'm still going to hold my position here. 
uh, unless it starts breaking some critical levels i'm still bullish on egld it's got one of the nicest uh, bitcoin comparative charts in the market zilliqa i actually just looked at this this must have just happened right now but um yeah we were um, consolidating down in this zone i picked it up on the support line here and uh, hopefully this is a real rally off of the off of the support line here because we failed here we failed here but if you look here we've had way more candles uh, than previous um, breakthroughs so I'm hoping now that we do have a confirmation that we are going to hold these uh, this level this time and if we do uh, yeah I expect new highs for uh, new highs for Zilliqa both in dollar terms and Bitcoin terms. Uh, Zilliqa is really close to breaking its all-time high versus US dollars. Uh, I believe its all-time high was around 20 cents or so, maybe 21 cents, and we're right around 18, 19 cents right now. And uh, I wanna be holding it when it breaks into new all-time highs. Uh, Curve. Curve has also been performing uh, fairly decently. Uh, got into this one around 240. Um, uh, I was in this position prior. I did take some profits uh, ar around this area before we had like a huge drop off. Um, and we're seeing bullish divergence here on the, it's present on the daily. Uh, not so much present on there, but the daily is, uh, you know, significant to see uh, some bullish divergence. We have an anchor wave here, which is deeper than this one. And we have a higher low and then a lower low. So uh, yeah, some bullish divergence there, and I don't believe that has played out yet because it is on a daily. So I would expect at least a break of this, possibly to come retest these levels here. Doesn't look like that much, but that's actually a pretty decent gain here. It's about 55%, 50% or so. So we'll have to see how that plays out. RSR uh, holding this level pretty good. I still don't feel confident enough to turn this into a support zone but we are looking very constructive here all right um it is looking uh fairly good we'll have to see how that goes um again right like every time we've broken this level we've either not been able to even get above this level or we've broken through and we've spent you know very little time here right very little time and here we're seeing an extended amount of time that we're spending above this level which tells me there's a little bit more confidence and strength in the bulls okay then we have v chain also doing something similar still kind of struggling to get above this uh, resistance zone here um, so we'll have to see how that goes but if you do look at this this is like a huge w here uh, with a higher low on this side with really constructive price action. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, to see VeChain at the end of this bull market to be, you know, about a $20 billion market cap conservatively. It's about a 3x from here. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, then we have Rose. Rose is just retesting uh, a previous zone here um, that we broke out of. Uh, we could see a couple of days just to reset the oscillators and then uh, see some further price action uh, to the upside but i mean overall like since january we've been setting higher highs and higher lows so i'm going to assume that that trend is going to continue until it does not uh zilliqa yeah we just went over sorry i had that duplicated there but yeah it looks looks good even on a daily still some more room to the upside and um, yeah, we are currently holding above this yellow line and using it as support quite nicely. And then we have Acro. Um, Acro does also um, have some constructive price action since January. We got this higher lows and higher highs structure. Um, I don't believe that this is a macro high yet. I still believe we have further to go in this move. So I'm not ready to call this a higher low quite yet. Um, until we see somewhat of a pullback and then I would you know say that this is a confirmed local top but for right now I'm gonna play with the trend and you know as we can see the trend for acro is still up right we could say that this is our median value 
right? We could say um, that this is, you know, the trend that we started. We had our parabolic um, increase versus Bitcoin. We came back to a normalization in price. And now we're starting to see the vol volatility increase again uh, to the upside, uh, just like we did during this accumulation zone. Uh, and yeah, we're seeing some higher lows. So I do like that. And overall, um, we do have a higher low here, which was just a retest of previous price action back here in this accumulation zone um, in 2019. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it off with that guys. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. I have my Discord link down below if you wanna join the channel. Uh, I did recently just start a, a Patreon group if uh, you'd like to support the content it's super cheap it's like less than like a cup of coffee a week okay and uh, i will share some premium um uh, content for the users that uh or for the for the guys that or girls that join that group and uh yeah have a good night and we'll see you in the next one